Hi everybody, welcome back to the amazing Armour 3 and I wanted to do a quick beginner's guide tutorial about flying helicopters, some sort of hints and tips to help you if you're struggling a little bit with the uh, wingless birds. Now I highly recommend you go into the tutorials and go into the VR training, there's some good helicopter training in there and you should be working towards as well in the single player uh, doing the showcase, the helicopter showcase, that's really good fun as well. What we're going to do is we're going to jump into the editor to spawn in with a helicopter and I'm just going to show you some basic exercises that hopefully will get you used to the, the controls and kind of understand a little bit of the physics around what's happening. Now we're going to jump into Stratus because it's one of the smaller maps uh, normally runs very very well. So we're going to press M to go to the map. We're going to go over to the airbase and we're going to click in on our middle mouse wheel about there at the end of the runway. Uh, let's just move around a little bit and let us drop in. We're going to drop our helicopter in here. Now, see down here on the bottom right corner, it says place vehicles with crew. So we're just going to untick that and we'll do the, just put the poor knee down. So we'll put a poor knee down and we'll put a man down. doesn't matter which man and we'll just go play as the character. Now, with the helicopters, it's all about momentum with helicopters in Armour 3 and in lots of games actually when, when you want to do them. So go up to the helicopter, hit spacebar and we're going to get in. And um, for, for what I found the easiest way of flying helicopters when I'm doing it with keyboard and mouse is to double click alt, uh, left alt, and your mouse becomes your free look. It doesn't control the helicopter at all. And we're going to do all of the controlling of the helicopter on WASD, uh, Q and E, uh, Shift and Z and X. Um, are going to be the controls. So uh, the actual kind of it's almost like a throttle really it's kind of it's more like up and down though and this is kind of the power of the engine is done on shift and Z so shift throttles up and makes the helicopter go up Z throttle down makes the helicopter go down there's a lot of assists going on here um, so it, it kind of so what we'll do is we're going to hit shift anyway and we're going to hold down shift and that is going to make the engines go faster and eventually the helicopter is going to take off. The way I remember it is that um, I always think, you know, in all, if you want to get a shift on, that means you're going to be going fast. And so I always think of shift, that, that's what makes us go up. So when we go up a little bit, take our finger off shift and the helicopter will automatically kind of go into a hover mode like this. Then if we press Z, it'll come down, take a finger off Z, it'll kind of sort itself out, press shift, it's going to go back up again. Um, it's very easy. Now, your friend is X. On the X key, if you tap the X key, if you look in the top left hand corner, you'll see a couple of little arrows have appeared underneath where it says M rod. X is auto hover. So if you ever get yourself into a little bit of bother and you're not quite sure what's going on, if you just hit X, the helicopter will go into an auto hover mode. It'll probably flap around a bit, but eventually it will sort itself out. Um, and especially when you're coming to landing, if you can negate all of the momentum or most of the momentum into the helicopter so it's almost hovering but maybe it's, it's wandering around a bit just hit X and it will stop um, fairly quickly and then you can use Z just to slowly bring it down now just remember when you are coming into land you don't want to be landing really really hard so you want to be stop pressing Z before you hit the ground so it will kind of go into a little hover and just tap on Z to bring it down nice and soft and then you can roll your mouse wheel and you can do engine off or something like that so let's go get back up into the air again. So I'm going to press X to cancel the auto hover. I'm going to press and hold shift to get us up in the air. Now, on Q and E, we have our foot pedals that will spin the helicopter around. So E spins us round clockwise, Q spins us round anti-clockwise or to the left. And when you do this, you well could well find the helicopter starts to wander like it is now. And again, this is another case where you hit X and it will automatically, after a couple of seconds, come to a hover and then you can press X again and that will sort you out. Especially when you first start pl flying helicopters, often you, you'll be in this sort of situation where you're just drifting around and you're trying to land on a particular area. But just press, press X and the helicopter will go into auto hover mode. There's nothing wrong with doing that while you're learning or even when you're doing the advanced stuff. Now, press X to come out of auto hover. Now the thing about using your pedals to spin the helicopter around like this is that they only really work very effectively when the helicopter is moving very, very slowly. Um, when the helicopter is moving fast, you'll find that your pedal controls don't turn the helicopter like that. Um, once we start moving fast, what we're then going to do is we kind of we turn a bit like an uh, aeroplane would. So we're going to bank the helicopter over. 
So we're going to hit X just to go into auto hover. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to practice um, just uh, moving sort of to the left and the right. So we press X to come out of auto hover. And if we press D, see the helicopter sort of tips over to the right a little bit and it starts to move to the right. And again, with all these movements with the helicopters, just do it very, very lightly. And then look in the top left hand corner and look at your speed all right, and your height. So let's, again, we could press X to get us back to a hover state. Press X again, now we're going to just tap A just to bring it over. As you become more advanced with your helicopter flying, and it's just about practice, instead of using X to go into auto hover, what you can do is, you see, uh, the helicopter's fairly flat now, but we're still going to the left. So now we just tip it to the right. Don't get, don't get mad, you know, don't tip it all the way, because it's slowly bleeding off that momentum. And then what we can do is, when the momentum is all gone, we can then just flatten her out. And then she'll be stopped again. But again, once you get into this situation, when you're almost there, just hit X and the helicopter will go into auto hover mode, which is really good. So let's take her out of auto hover mode. Let's uh, tap D just to move us over. A little bit of pedal just to straighten us up on the runway again. little bit of A just to stop it. Near the end of the runway, just going to hit X. Helicopter will go to auto hover, so we're lined up. So now we're just going to practice going forward. I'm just going to come out of auto hover, press X again. I'm just going to press shift to give us a little bit more altitude to make things a little bit safer. Take my finger off shift, and then we just go into this kind of hover situation. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to build up forward momentum by tipping the nose of the helicopter down. So we're going to press in W, and we're just going to be doing it a little bit. A little bit of correction with A, and see the helicopter starts to move forward. Now look at the speed in the top left-hand corner. The speed slowly builds up, and I like to kind of think of it the fact that when you're thinking about how do I slow down and come into land, it's going to take you just as long to slow down as it did, did to build up this speed. See, the helicopter isn't leaning forward very much at all, but here we are zooming along 128 kilometers an hour. Now, if we want to stop before the end of the runway, what we need to do now is tip the helicopter back with S. So we tip the helicopter back, look at that speed, the speed will start to bleed off. Tip it back a little bit more. Bleeding off that speed. And then when it gets near to sort of, you know, 30, 20 kilometers an hour, hit X. And you're going to go into auto hover anyway. Now we can press shift, uh, sorry, press Z, bring the helicopter down, take our finger off Z before we get to the ground, and then just bring it down, lovely and slowly for a nice soft touchdown. Okay, let's press X to take off uh, auto hover, so now we're going to press shift to get, get back into the air. We want to turn the helicopter around, so we're going to use some pedal, so we're going to use Q, press Q to turn it around. So what we're going to do now, we're going to fly down the runway and then we're going to do a slow banked turn out over the sea. So actually we can get a little bit more height as well to make it a bit safer. So to go forward, we're just going to dip the nose quite a lot this time. And you see we often, if you dip it too far, you'll lose, start to lose altitude. Just bring it back a little bit. And if you look in the top left corner, our speed is really going up a long way now. 170 kilometers an hour. So we're going pretty fast. Now, if you want to kind of maintain that speed and keep accelerating, just keep knocking that nose down and then giving it a bit of shift to give you a little bit more sort of power. Now, if we now just press D, we can put the helicopter into a really slow turn. You see, really slow turn. Now, often because our blades aren't um, perpendicular with the ground, often we could start losing height. But we're doing okay. If we look at the top, we're doing 200 kilometers an hour at 88 meters. We're doing a really nice slow turn. We'll tip her a little bit further. And again, this is a situation where if you got yourself into trouble and you started going all over the place, just hit X to get into auto hover. This is a bit like an aircraft turn here. We're just going nice and slowly. We're going pretty fast, 218 kilometers an hour. We're maintaining our altitude at 88 meters. Heading back towards the runway. So let's start to straighten out. Now just remember again, if you want to slow down, 
we're gonna we've got to bleed off all that speed so we've got to be very careful so we've got to look at how fast are we slowing down so before we get to the runway of where we want to land we just want to start to flare so we push back with s that speed will start to flare off and start to bleed off okay we don't want to bleed off it too fast and then when we get down to about 30 25 now hit x we'll go into auto hover and then we could again press z start to bring ourselves down there we go release said before we hit the ground and just bring it down really nice and slow a nice soft touch down there goes right hit x take auto hover off hit shift to get us airborne again now we're going to look at we're speeding things up a bit to do lots of faster turns so we're going to use a bit of pedal a bit of e to spin us around so we're going to do the same thing again, we're going to run down the runway, but we're going to do a sharper turn. Now in order to do a sharper turn, what we're going to do is we're going to bank the helicopter with D, but we're going to also pull the nose back with S a little bit. And remember, with the keyboard, because it's because it's not um, analogue, because it's just on or off, we are going to have to, tap, to kind of be tapping it. So let's get a bit more height, make it a little bit safer, practicing. And we're going to dive that nose so we're going to start building up our speed we're losing a bit of height Let's pull the nose up a bit we're straight up to 170 kilometers an hour keep that nose popping down get us up to about 80 so we're give it a bit of shift to give us a bit more height get us about 80 meters so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into that turn like we did before we're going to tap s to kind of bring that nose up and it, 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 you're kind of doing S and W, so if it goes too far, you're pressing W to bring that nose down. And that will give us a much sharper turn. So really throw it over, tap that S. You see how much sharper that turn was? Let's do the same again. So just tapping S, pull that nose up as we head towards the end of the runway. we're doing 170 kilometers an hour so we need to think about bleeding off that speed so we tip the helicopter back with s speed starts bleeding we've done the game a bit of height bleed off a little bit less speed down to about 30 kilometers an hour hit x going to auto hover and then we could use z to, to come down so that that's kind of the basics of flying helicopters um, just think of it as momentum so you speed you build up your momentum by tipping the helicopter forward or to one side or to back and then to get rid of that momentum you've got to go the opposite way but it takes a while to bleed off that momentum and then just come somewhere like um, Stratus or Snow or any of the maps in the editor spawn in the helicopter and just practice moving around um, and you'll have a load a load of fun you know, and the idea is that you know because we're, we're in the practice mode you know we, we could even fire our guns if we wanted to fire our rockets we've got dip it down and one thing one of the kind of practice things I really like doing is flying around the coast as well and you can kind of get it down really low you can practice your banking go to first person Is hugging the coast, you can go up inland up the, the, the valleys, but always give yourself an idea of uh, somewhere to land um, and then just give yourself targets. So, okay, so let's say, so we're coming up to this little base here. Well, I want to land on the beach at this base, so that's where I've got to land. Now, if you miss it on the first pass, you know, go back and have another go. So, I'm going to bleed off my speed, I'm going to hit X, go to auto hover. Press Z to start coming down. So, as you can see, so I'm a little bit too far away. So, we're going to press X to come out of our auto hover. Knock that nose forward a little bit. Now, when you're into the fine adjustments of coming into land, it really is doing very, very fine adjustments. X to go back into auto hover. Z to start bringing us down. Have a good look. Gonna clear that. 
Bring it down nice and soft. Get some uneven surface. Engine off. Let's hop out. And there we go. There's the basics of flying helicopters in Armour 3. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have hit like, you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.